Well guys, my fantastic Sakura 16LB Classic Cruiser. This is uh, an awesome little trailer, just like new, and uh, now one of you guys gets to have it. Let's go through it. So this Classic Cruiser is a 16LB, 16 feet long, and the thing about Sakura is that they are known for their quality trailers and also being very lightweight. I'll put the curb weights in the uh, ad, but it's a nice lightweight trailer that most cars can pull easily. Uh, as you can see, the awning is out right now, and it's a full awning. It uh, comes out just like it should. It's about, I don't know, 12 feet. And, uh, you know, sets up just like any other standard trailer, so you don't lose any of the features with the Sakura. Uh, storage compartments all the way around. It's a nice storage compartment here. And uh, it's locked right now, but in there is just it's basically the... Uh, power cable for you know, hooking up at your site and some hosing, that kind of stuff. You know, just the utilities that you have with the unit. It's a super clean unit. All the lighting is intact and works. Spare tires there. And it also has an additional uh, hitch on the back, which you can actually use for one of those trays. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They're like, you can put your bicycles back there with the uh, proper hitch. Uh, or you, I guess you could tow a small vehicle, but you're really adventurous, but you know what I mean the back of the unit again there's a uh, few nice features that you know you expect some of these things on a trailer you, know, you get your city water connections and of course you have the water heater there it's gas fired water heater and uh, there's also an external shower again that's in there but you know when you're on city service because it's a smaller unit if you want you know you just went swimming or something and you want to lather up outside not a problem all of your uh, connections sewer dumping and things like that are very accessible and this thing is fully winterized and actually still has the winterization in it uh, we have not emptied the line so there's still the, the antifreeze is still in there and it was put away uh, exactly as it should be professionally done but it's a nice clean package all the external is all the original stickers are great there's no chalking um, you know there's two propane tanks underneath the canister there and a good heavy duty hitch and of course there's a uh, uh, heavy duty battery for uh, you know those times you're not close to service for things like lighting and it's good let's take a look inside so nice standard door there's the vent for the stove again it's important to note this thing is super clean there's no cracks issues you know the wheels if you look at the wheels you can see the little the little nibs are still on the tires this thing was purchased for simply for use as sleeping during the construction of a house so what can I say so inside you can see we got a nice linoleum floor. It's very clean. Uh, no issues in the floor. It's all solid. Nice oak cabinetry throughout. And as we step inside here, you can see we've got the uh, stove area, uh, two burner propane stove, sink of course, and this has just got the cosmetic cover on the top for it so you can use it an extra. Venting, got a nice little stereo. The storage throughout, and it's all solid oak facings and lighter weight uh, casings so that you can you know, it helps with the overall curb weight of this unit because this unit again is designed so anyone can tow it easily you can see the shelves there are adjustable based on what you want we got your TV hook up here if you want to put a TV on this shelf you could uh, again with the standard 110 volt uh, power there when you hook, plug, in, plug in your campsite more storage down here Great big cupboard here, and again, you could put shelves in here if you wanted to, or leave it as is. Even as a, as a, as a coat rack, we got the bar in there, so you can hang your coats in there. A uh, little furnace there, and uh, again, that's the galley part of the unit. Uh, in the sideway again, as you come in, here is the bathroom. And the bathroom is very standard. You know, toilet, standard shower. We have a skylight there as well. Everything's a little, we have lighting throughout, and of course we have the uh, bathroom mirror and sink. That's good. It's good to go. Another work counter here, and again more storage. Microwave and of course the ever popular fridge. And the fridge is uh, propane and electric. And you've got your starters there. And uh, that's something if you're into trailering, you'll know all about. And of course it's got the safety latches so when you're rolling. You're not going to uh, lose your lunch. <laughs> this is the galley area of the unit. 
And as you can see, it's currently set. This galley will comfortably seat six. Seven if you have a child, because there's actually a little bench right down there as well that a child can sit at. And this area actually folds down the bed. You can see the table collapses. It folds down into an actual bed. So you could actually sleep, well, two people comfortably, you know, three or four if it's just kids sleeping, you know, uh, vertically from here. Above that we have more storage. Two cupboards here. And that's great. But here's the best part. Uh, you actually, if you pull these latches, and I'll do that right now, pull these latches when it's time for bed. And you can see See that this just comes down like so, and this reveals another bunked sleeping area. And uh, this, there's a built-in cushion here. You could use a storage if you don't have a lot of people, but uh, so essentially what you're looking at is you can very comfortably sleep three large adults and put a fourth one on the floor. Or if you had, you could you could fit uh, one or two smaller children on the top bunk, and then quite a lot on the bottom. So you know. You'll know what you want to do based on your configuration and how you're camping. But again, the idea behind this is all the comforts of home while being able to accommodate a lot of people. Carry air conditioning system and it works fine. And you're welcome to turn it on when you come to see it. And, um, you know, as I said, quality, quality, quality. Nice linoleum floors. You know, it's a great, great unit. Let's go inside. So the problem with money is you can only spend it once. And if you go and look at a new unit, like this particular one, 16 foot lightweight unit, you're going to spend an easy, well after all your fees and everything, somewhere between sixteen dollars to $20,000. This unit was simply purchased in 2008, it was parked in a driveway while the uh, house construction was going on, and then it just sat. So you're in a situation where you have a unit that is uh, pristine, and you'll be able to see that by the condition. I've done this video here, there's also going to be photographs in the ad, which I, you know, make sure you check those out, I'm sure you will. But, you know, proof's in the pudding. It really is a super clean, nice unit. It hooks up easily. You can drag it with any decent powered car. Most cars these days, a couple hundred horsepower, and do the job quite nicely. And that's, again, why Secura went into business making a smaller unit that could do the job. So, what can I tell you? Anyway, folks, it's uh, summertime is in full swing. And those of you who are dying to do some camping will be uh, definitely looking at a unit like this. And uh, we would love to sell it to you. So, short of that, send me a text, email, or phone call. And that's what we'll do.